At the eleventh hour, on the eleventh day of the eleventh month of 1918, the Great War concluded. For four years, three months, and fourteen days, a total of eighteen nations were embroiled in an international conflict which spanned across multiple stagnant fronts on three continents. Within a period of a year, seven months, and nine days, General John J. Blackjack Pershing's American Expeditionary Force amassed 1.2 million doughboys along the 440-mile western front of Europe. American military involvement as an associated force following the rupture of diplomatic relations with the German Empire due to unrestrained submarine warfare on merchant vessels brought about the necessary turning point of the war in 1917 in favor of the Allied powers making the eventual defeat of the Central Powers possible by Armistice Day of 1918. Following the Great War, the United States War Department going forward saw American servicemen spending more time at the target range than on the battlefield. Since the rifle's introduction into service in 1903, the weapon proved itself to be an accurate military bolt-action weapon, not only on the battlefield, but also at the target range. After armistice, American military shooting teams returned to Camp Perry in Port Clinton, Ohio, for several weeks during the summer to compete against each other in national matches using the standard-issue high-power op 3 rifle. Even in stock configuration, the Model 1903 performed well at the matches, as it did in the Great War, particularly when it came to accurate long-range fire. Though proven to be an accurate weapon in stock configuration, participants heading to the matches at Camp Perry, along with them, modified Ot 3 Springfields, assembled with hand-selected components. By 1921, the Stargage Barrel was introduced for match shooting. National match rifles after the Great War continued to use the Type S stock. Yet the Type S stock unfortunately offered shooters a relatively short length of pull. During national match competitions, the shooters had to crawl up the straight grip of the stock to the safety latch assembly and the neural knob of the cocking piece in order to get a better sight picture. This led to the shooters getting their nose bit by the rear assembly components of the bolt. This was overcome by reversing the three-position latch safety assembly. The distinctive neural knob of the cocket piece was then milled off so that the shooter would not put their nose in harm's way as they crawled up the comb of the stock. Public interest later grew after 1921 as more Ot 3 Springfields became available to civilian shooting teams. In 1924, an Armory Assembled National Match variant of the Ot 3 rifle was released by Springfield Armory for not only military shooting teams but also civilians, yet the Type S stock continued to be used to furnish the weapon. In 1928, Springfield Armory ended its 25-year production of the Type S stock that had undergone a few subtle changes since 1903. Alt 3s for national match competition and target shooting after a serial number range of 1,285,266 going forward were then furnished with the Type C pistol grip walnut stock, which was standardized on March 15, 1928. From 1903 to 1928-29, the Type S stock was used to furnish the model 1903 rifle. Though the old straight grip stock was a simple and solid design holding precedence through the years of service in armed conflicts around the world, it failed to offer the shooter a more solid way to shoot at distant targets. Since the War Department saw servicemen spending more time at the target range than on the battlefield going forward in a peacetime era, production of the Type S was discontinued in 1928. The change from the straight grip stock to the pistol grip stock was seen by the Ordnance Department as conducive to improved marksmanship at the target range, since the shooter would be able to not only shoulder the weapon better in order to align with the sights, but also have a more solid hold on the rifle at the pistol grip area. With the development of a new stock, the Ornance Department in 1929 gave the new peacetime model 1903 variant its official nomenclature, the United States Rifle Caliber 30 Model 1903A1.
Built as a competition rifle, the model 1903A1 National Match is mechanically similar to the model 1903 Springfield. The Type C stock retained the Type S stock's thickness, but the profile of the rifle changed due in part to the new stock assembly. Aside from the stock's pistol grip, the Type C stock's comb is noticeably higher than the Type S. Also, they were furnished with a lower full-length humped handguard. 03A1 National Match Rifle stocks were stamped with the plain encircled P proof mark. The P proof mark was also stamped into the top of the barrel. These proof marks were struck by an armor inspector following the weapon passing the high pressure cartridge discharge test. Since this example went through an arsenal overhaul inspection for service in World War II, the left hand side of the stock is stamped with a cartouche which contains the arsenal identifier initials AAB for the Augusta Arsenal of Augusta, Georgia. Though designated as the model 1903A1, the receiver ring of these weapons were stamped US Springfield Armory Model 1903 with the rifle's serial number. Below the serial number is a punch mark, indicating that the rifle successfully passed the Rockwell Hardness Test. The Ornest Department's flaming bomb insignia were stamped into the barrel, along with SA, month, and year the barrel was manufactured. The action of the National Match M1903A1 is a polished Mauser dual lug bolt body. On 03A1 National Match Rifles, Springfield Armory stamped into the claw extractor and bolt sleeve CV, indicating that the bolt body and components are made of chromium vidium steel, a steel compound that not only makes the steel more hardened, but helps resist corrosion, oxidation, and abrasions. Left in the white, the rifle's bolt body were electro stencils with the weapon's serial number. Though it is shiny, the gleam from the sun does not interfere when sighting in on distant targets downrange. As a bolt without a finish, the cock on opening action is rather smooth when manually operating the bolt to eject and feed cartridges. Die stamped into the nickel steel on the top of the bolt handle of this particular sample is the Armory Steel Lock Code NS. National Match 03A1's rifles continue to be fitted with a star gauge standard length barrel. These weapons were also stamped with the individual star gauge serial number sequence on the barrel under the humped handguard. The sear trigger, receiver well, and follower were all polished by Springfield Armory, which aids in the smooth cycling of the rifle. National Match 03A1s from Springfield Armory were equipped with a match grade deeply serrated trigger offering the shooter a slip resistant surface when squeezing the trigger. For a better grip on the shoulder, the National Match Rifle was fitted with a butt plate which is heavily serrated with a deep diamond pattern. The trap is also coarse, but is smaller compared to previous designs. The no knob of the firing pin returned in 1929-30 on the National Match Rifles. In order to assure mechanical safety, National Match 03A1 carried over the double safety notch and reversed the three position safety lock assembly back to its original configuration. The model 1905 rear side assembly was modified for the 03A1 National Match, eliminating the 2,850 yard B notch at the top of the ladder. All other characteristics of the rifle remain the same. Every 03 and 03A1 National Match Rifle produced by Springfield Armory during this period were tested for accuracy before being released, with the average printing a 2-inch 5-shot group at 220 yards. For almost half a century since the Model 1903's introduction into competitive shooting in 1908, the weapon proved to be the most accurate standard issue rifle at the shooting matches. It was not until 1908 that enough Ot 3 Springfields were available to equip servicemen heading to these matches. From 1921 to 1939, the Model 1903 and Model 1903A1 National Match Rifles reigned supreme at Camp Perry. 
in total, Springfield Armory manufactured 1,536,285 M1903 rifles from July of 1903 to June of 1940. By 1940, Springfield Armory produced a total of 28,907 M1903 and M1903A1 National Match rifles. 19,950 National Match M1903s were produced between 1921 and 1928. An additional 8,957 03A1 National Matches were manufactured after 1929. Of the total M1903 rifles produced by Springfield Armory, only 1.88% were actual national match rifles. Though built by a government armory, these weapons were not intended to be used on the battlefield. But like service grade weapons, national match 03 rifles had a service life of approximately two years. Warned from use on the target range, they were also returned back to Springfield Armory for inspection and or overhaul. In 1936, Springfield Armory started drilling a second and large gas rupture hole through the left-hand side of the receiver, just behind the extractor collar. This was done on National Match rifles, which were returned. Of the 28,907 National Match rifles produced, 25,377 were overhauled by the government armory. General interest in the development of a semi-automatic rifle for standard issue resumed shortly after the Great War in 1919. After almost 15 years of prototype developments at Springfield Army by John Guerin, on January 9, 1936, the U.S. Ordnance Department adopted a standardized semi-automatic rifle, the United States Rifle Semi-Automatic Caliber 30 M1. Springfield Armory ceased manufacturing of the O3A1 around 1940. Production switched from the manufacturing of both match-grade and service-grade rifles to slowly arming the nation's servicemen with the new semi-automatic standard-issue rifle. Built for standard-issue, critics argued that the new rifle was accurate enough for service but not for match shooting, as the proven bolt-action match rifle was. John Guerin's masterpiece would eventually prove its critics wrong at the target range, as the combat weapon through modifications held potential to be used as a match rifle. Following World War II, demand for the service rifle in match grade grew. By 1950, the O3A1 National Match Rifle began to fade away from the competition range, replaced by more and more armory modified Guerin rifles. With the introduction of these early match grade M1 rifles in the post World War II period, came the end of the National Match O3A1 rifles' lone reign over competitions it held going forward. <laughs>